they were pre-pandemic. So we're seeing at around between 100 and 120 new registrations per week of doctors and dentists with anxiety, depression, and symptoms indistinguishable from post-traumatic stress disorder. And I think, and I am only too aware of the disillusionment, the high levels of depression and burnout amongst doctors. And even before COVID, the biggest crisis we were facing was the mental health of doctors. And COVID, I would attest, is making this worse. It probably comes as no surprise because of my previous priority that the biggest group presenting up to us by far are general practitioners. And the, and the division between general practitioners and the rest of the profession is growing. So at the start of the pandemic, probably about 40% of all new registrations were GPs. It's now touching 60% of all new registrations are GPs. And of course, the, the distress is not hard to find. It is COVID. Uh, it is the, the exhaustion that many are feeling. But for GPs, it's more than that. It's, as I said, it's the fact that we're working extremely hard. Yet, despite the clapping at the start of, of the, uh, the pandemic, now we're far more likely uh, to be, uh, as you see, abused, uh, have, as one practice in North London, having uh, graffiti on their, on their practice doors. So going forward, the priority has to be an investment in the GP workforce, not just in cancer or hospitals, but in general practice and in general practice well-being. We have to have a priority around occupational health and we have to ensure that GPs have a decent contract that doesn't just rely on sacrifice, service not sacrifice. We have to have something that acknowledges uh, the workload and the intensity and addresses that and, and supports GPs in order to do the work that they want to do for their patients without becoming burnt out or mentally ill. My third priority is investment in digital. Now, GPs have led the way in digital. We've led the way for the last 20, 25 years. We were the first part of the NHS to become completely digital. I mean, albeit ourselves, we still